Are you a fighting game streamer? Do you do live analysis? Do you run tournaments? Do you have a do you have a setup that you can do replays and cool stuff like that? Recently found this awesome free tool for OBS Studio called Whiteboard. Essentially what the tool does is allows you to draw on your screen. This can help you when you're trying to explain things that are happening, spacing, anything on the screen. You can draw anything. You can use the tool for other stuff too, but I think it applies to fighting games really well. So I found this tool on another dude's page uh, called Nutty and I'll link it below. Uh, it takes you through a little bit more in-depth tutorial. Uh, but basically, this is the basic gist of it. This doesn't work with Streamlabs, it only works with OBS Studio and Windows. I don't think it works with Mac either, so. You should be on OBS Studio anyways. You have way more options, way more cool creative things that you can do. It's not about trashing Streamlabs, but it does suck. Click on the link below and it's gonna take you to this page here. You're gonna download the zip file, unzip it, And then you can put the you can put the file wherever you want. OBS just need you just need to be able to find it in OBS. So then you're gonna go into your OBS tools into scripts, add a script, find the file where you put it, click the whiteboard.lua open, and then it's gonna show you your options. You can customize the size of the pen, the color, um, and there's a clear whiteboard option in there as well. There is a more advanced version of this, but this is the simplest, easiest way to get you going on this. Next thing you do, you're gonna wanna add this into the scene that you wanna do the drawing on. You add it as a source. Make sure the source is at the top of your sources in your list, so it knows to color over everything. Last thing you do on whatever scene you have the whiteboard source in, you want to click window projector and you can put this wherever you want and on another monitor. If you only have one monitor, it could be on there. And it's as simple as left clicking and drawing. And then that's going to show up to your audience. The last thing that you want to do is set up a hotkey to clear. Now, if you don't have a stream deck or something like that, that's fine. You can just set up a hotkey, like control, whatever, control a number, whatever hotkey, you're not, whatever keys you're not going to use. Super simple. And it's as easy as that. If you do have a stream deck, just type in hotkey into the search, put that into one of your buttons. You can name it if you want. And then in hotkey, assign the hotkey that you assigned it in OBS so they match exactly. And then you're good to go. So overall, super easy setup and just really cool visually what you can do with it. You can do all that stuff in post and if you're actually making videos, but live, if you're running an event, if you're doing tutorials live, showcasing characters, hitboxes, stuff like that. Aquaman for the Coliseum has a different way to do it. And it's a little bit more uh, complex to set up, but also very effective, obviously. This gives you an option that is just super fast, super easy. I'll link the video where I found this tutorial. And if you want the version he has where you can have different colored pens and stuff like that, hit me up in Discord. I couldn't find the link. I found it in his Discord for the one where you can have multiple different pens and you can set up uh, hotkeys for to switch the colors so you could have white, green, red, color all at the same time, clear them. So hopefully you find this useful and, and, and I see some more people using it because I know when Mr. Aquaman used it, people were like, holy smokes, and he showed the hitbox of, of Sindel's scream, which was awesome. I think it, it just adds a little bit more immersion into, this, into the stream. You can act like you're John Madden, do some play-by-plays, draw up the diagrams, maybe, you know, some other stuff. If you like the video, consider subscribing it's free play fighting games here i love them all fighting games are cool thanks for watching see you next time